H-O-N-D, up 1.81%. This is Tuesday, the 21st of October, 2025, pre-market session. More on the measure in a few minutes. Yesterday lost 12.46%. The extrapolation of its 30-period moving average on the state chart is saying that um, it's going to, even though it has bounced slightly, it's going to still remain weak up till midday today the 21st frost and then after that by the close of today's trading session it would have uh, bounced and um, that bounce or the strength uh, from that bounce is expected to remain in place at least up till the 24th of, of october that is friday uh, midday okay uh, projections are currently saying 28.02 36.98 43.42 47.40 price pressure momentums let's see what, what we have down here the everything severe the 10 period moving average is very bearish meaning that our positions opened 21 hours ago uh, positions opened uh, 40 hours ago are not in profit at the moment and uh, the selling pressure is also very strong However, we can see here that uh, it's it's uh, yeah it's decelerating. Yeah, that selling pressure is also decelerating, unfortunately. Even though even though there's still some buying going on, some there's still some deep buying going on, and uh, it hasn't it hasn't affected their positions opened eighty four hours eighty four hours ago. Yes, those positions are still very much in profit at the moment. Yeah, but uh, selling pressure is still very strong, very, very strong. Let's just quickly glance at the daily chart and see what we have. On the daily chart, we don't have any extrapolations, but we have a downward projection here of uh, 13.17. Okay, so we can also apply another indicator to show us uh, what uh, what we could possibly see, let's see, or what is prevailing, what people are what people what uh, traders are currently doing okay right now they are buying so this indicator here is saying that um so sorry they're not buying they are selling yeah, this indicator is saying that um this indicator is saying that selling pressure is going to remain in place uh let's see what we have on uh go back on the four hour chart it's yeah it's it is uh yeah it is validating it's validating their yeah, selling pressure that's what we can see here it's you no know, it's um okay yeah selling pressure uh is going on right now but the, this indicator is saying don't get involved don't get involved don't get involved don't get involved right now yeah but selling pressure is what's going on right now you know based on this four hour chart is what's going on right now we could just quickly glance at the one hour chart and see what we have as well yeah okay i still stand right now the one hour chart is indicating that yes whatever is going on right now um this is what the indicator is saying you shouldn't do that it's saying that you know you could get involved yeah that's um if it's it's uh, declining there's, there's there might be money to be made from it but it's not a recommendation that you should uh, do so on his four hour chart is totally saying something totally different it's saying don't get involved right now don't get involved okay so let's uh, hear about uh, the measure here is the latest on the terrestrial energy hcm2 hond merger situation as of now what's confirmed what's likely and what to watch what's confirmed latest developments one shareholders have approved the merger. On October 20th, 2025, HCM2's shareholders voted in favor of the business combination with Terrestrial Energy Inc. Two, expected closing and NASDAQ listing dates. The merger is expected to close on or about October 27th, 2025, assuming all closing conditions are met or waived. Trading for the combined company is expected to begin on October 28, 2025, under the ticker symbols IMSR and IMSRW. After completion, the combined company will adopt the name Terrestrial Energy, Inc. 3. Regulatory Technical Positioning Terrestrial Energy's core technology is its integral molten salt reactor design, a generation four small modular reactor concept. 
the company has been advancing regulatory reviews and safety evaluations to support commercialization. Four, valuation and market view. Some commentators are already pointing to terrestrial energy via the SPAC route as an attractive play in the advanced nuclear or small modular reactor space, citing valuation upside relative to technical potential. Seeking Alpha, for instance, highlights this merger as a nuclear SPAC opportunity with upside if regulatory and commercialization steps succeed. Risks, uncertainties, and what could derail. Closing conditions must be satisfied or waived. Even though shareholder approval is secured, the merger still depends on meeting or waiving all legal, regulatory, and contractual closing conditions. Regulatory or licensing risk. The path to deploying commercial reactors involves substantial regulatory hurdles, e.g. nuclear safety reviews, licensing, environmental assessments. Delays or setbacks there could slow down timelines or raise capital needs. Public perception and financing risk. Advanced nuclear still has reputational and political sensitivity. Securing financing at projected cost targets will be critical. Execution risk and scaling. Even if the merger closes smoothly, delivering on reactor builds, supply chains, operational uptime, and cost targets is non-trivial in this space. What to watch or next catalysts. The filing of the Form AK. The full vote breakdown and related disclosures will be filed with the SEC. Closing confirmation, October 27th. We'll want to see a formal closing occurred press release. First trades under IMSR and IMSRW. Observe how the market reacts at that point. Regulatory milestones, especially in the U.S. and Canada. Any NRC decisions, design safety reviews, vendor design reviews, or licensing progress will be key value drivers. Partnership or customer contracts. Announcements of industrial or energy offtakes, e.g. hydrogen, industrial heat, data centers, would help validate demand. Capital raises or financing plans. Post-merger, how the new company raises money to fund reactor development and deployments will be critical. Okay, so that's uh, what's going on uh, with with uh, regard to the merger. So one more time, um, this by the twenty eighth of October, all of these data may disappear. It will just be, it will just be on a clean slate on um, IMNR. Okay, so uh, expect that to happen. Expect that to happen. So you have to bear in mind that the stick is going to change from HUND to IMNR. So. Let's see how things go and uh, thank you very much for watching this video.